Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're out in Geneva, Illinois. The clouds have left, we've got wonderful sun, and I'm here with Mark. Mark, what's your last name? Spalding. Spalding. Good to see you, and uh, Mark's obviously got a great car. I wouldn't be standing next to him right here on a wonderful day like this. So, Mark, what'd you bring here today? It's a 1934 Buick model 66C convertible coupe. Dual side mounts, rumble seats, suicide doors, a lot of the cool stuff. Let's take a look at that car, and we're going to keep talking to Mark while we're talking. Stand right next to me while we're taking a look at this. And how long have you had it? I've had it for uh, 29 years. It was uh, kind of a wreck when I got it and uh, sent it to a restoration shop uh, seven years ago in uh, Springfield, Illinois. It was there for five years. Wow, well, it looks great now. It's and it did every nut and bolt restoration to it. Well, it, uh, it looks fantastic. And you uh, were sharing with me that you've just kind of loved this time frame and this time period. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't consider myself a, strictly a Buick guy, but because uh, I like the Packards and the Chryslers and all the, all the cars of this era. Mm -hmm. But it's just tremendous. What are some of the, uh, let me get a shot of the side of this car. Let me kind of back up a little bit. And we'll go this way. We'll kind of keep moving back until we can get all of that car. Well, it's special on this car, of course, it's got the dual side mounts and uh, the chromed wire wheels, which were uh, offered by Buick in 1934, but re very rare since it was in the depth of the recession. And uh, so I think the chrome looks great with the dark blue. Yeah, it does look great. Come on with me. You're saying so. So the um, the rims here. These these are these are options. Yes, the dual side mode uh, option. And you shared the suicide doors. Yes. It's obviously got the convertible top, the air intake, dual windshield wipers. Yes. Yep, vacuum operated windshield wipers. Really? Got the nice blue pinstriping, you know, the chrome spears. I love how the the, the, the three, you know, they, they, the, the, fe the feature in the door. Elements of metal being bent yeah. and created and curved and nice little bullet like points on your, you know, from here to here. Let me take a shot of the back. We've got the rumble seat, as you can see which is yeah. way too cool. Do you, do you actually take this out and drive it? Uh, a little bit around, I live in Northbrook and uh, a, a li little bit around uh, town there. You worry because it has no turn signals. It's got small brake lights. Well, I, I don't think anybody is gonna miss this coming down the street though. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any question about worry about that. the textures. Yeah. <laughs> Let me kind of get an overall shot here of the car. We've got the luggage rack. The interesting thing about this car, too, is you can see all the beautiful features. Take a look at that. An, an unrestored uh, 1934 license plate. So, so this lights up when yes. from that right there. Even the lights with the glass lenses and the, the chrome ring inside. Exactly. It just has all these cool little features. Little features. Let's uh, take a look inside. Let me have you open the door. And it opens this way. So suicide doors. So Not quite sure why they call them suicide. There's a couple theories on that. Well, I think if you got hit, you fly out the door or something like that was a theory. But let me, uh, oop, excuse me. The octane selector. Well, so that, that uh, moves the distributor. So it was for if you had uh, crummy gas, you could advance the spark. Mm -hmm. So it, it does work, but of course the gas is so reliable now that I never move it anymore. Okay. And is this a light? What is this metal piece here? It's the ashtray. Ashtray. And a cigarette lighter underneath it. Got it. And that actually lights up when it's hot, right? Um, or does it not? I'm not sure about that, actually. I don't think I've ever plugged it in. Okay. And you've got the brake, the clutch. It's a three-speed with synchro mesh between second and third gear. You have to stop to shift downshift into first. Is that right? Let's uh, open up the uh, the side. I'm going to just keep that open because we'll actually start it at some point. Hoods are heavy. Get out of my way. It's got a uh, updraft carburetor, which was uh, a little bit troublesome, so they switched to a downdraft carburetor in 1935. These cars look virtually identical to 1935 uh, Buicks. Gas there coming in and carburation. 
So that's why the air cleaner is on the side because of the uh, updraft carburetor. Gotcha. Gotcha. This will be. Uh, are we able to open the other side as well, or do we need to shut this side? No, first? we can open it. Okay. <laughs> Just spectacular. How long was the restoration? Five years. Five, Five years. painful years. <laughs> but yet now, all worth it. Well, it is. So I, I said somebody somebody had to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, some of these cars would, would of course, be hot rotted, just because of the cost of uh, restoring them. And the, again, the convertibles are desirable models, so yeah. I think the body would have survived. I, th I think it's so outstanding that you brought this car here today. Let's start it up. Which side should I be on when we start it? This side oh, a little more yeah, action or the I other side? I don't think it matters. Okay, go ahead. So hopefully we'll start right up. It's got a tricky choke on it sometimes. Shut that door and we'll shut this side of the hood. I've seen a lot of headlights on eBay that have dents and cracks back here. So this is how really, that happens. Little, you gotta be really careful uh, opening and closing the hood. Good, good to know. Let's shut the other side. Just right. <laughs> we want to keep that video on the positive side, right? Yep. <laughs> Stay right next to your car. Mart, appreciate it. Thanks for sharing this car. Thanks for taking the time to put it all together and bring it out to the, oh, to the show. You. Thanks for being on my car store. Okay, thank you.